If you're gonna do public art and big pieces, you better stay healthy. None of this staying up till wee hours as a wild artist. It's like, get to bed early, you have to get up early in the morning and you have a lot of physical work to do, so you better feel good. To do it, you need all these architectural drawings. This is the section that I'm working on now, is just touching up this. I label every tile, five and six. Ultimately, I'm gonna have a hundred or more boxes. You balance being a working artist and a teacher by working all the time. I actually try to keep a very integrated approach. And I always find it very helpful to show my students what I'm working on, or even bring them to my studio and workshop. The painting and mural class brings together the individual practice with a collaborative public art practice or a study in which they learn to work on a project together. We had two collaborative projects. One was a small mural uh, installed on the side of the building and the other is a design for world languages and culture. This is pretty busy, but it's culture, and culture is a really busy, colorful thing, right? So we have the circle, the world, and the ribbon, languages, the idea of communication, the intertwining of people. Public art making, it's really mostly about how to be open and spontaneous and collaborative and how to be critical at the same time. We all need to be responsible and be participants in our environment. And I think that our visual environment says a lot about who we are as a community. Art comes out of many different places. You know, you may find yourself working with youth or in the prisons, whatever it is. And the beauty of the work that comes out of those situations is beautiful and unique in and of itself. There's many different ways to live your life as an artist.